question about it. We saw the two marquee candidates in the state right now. There's no question why there's national attention on this race. Both, both candidates came with their game face. They came ready to win. And I think really on issue by issue by issue, you get to see the contrast in the real winner. New Hampshire voters tonight, I think. All right. You know, both of them jumped off the stage tonight feeling pretty good. One of them went into the spin room. That would be Scott Brown. Chicha, he opted not to take questions from reporters. But when Scott Brown was in the spin room, he kept up the, the debate with Jean Shaheen as if she was there. Yeah, I enjoyed the debate. It was spirited. We certainly uh, talked about our, our different opinions and, and uh, positions on issues. Uh, I was still a little bit surprised that Senator Shaheen continues to consider us occupiers. Uh, we're liberators, and we always have been. Uh, I found it was an insult not only to me, but any other person who served in our military. But uh, certainly we have an opportunity to Take our messages to the voters. I look forward to the last, was it, four days in a wake-up? Four days in a wake-up. Once again, Gene Shaheen uh, deciding not to take questions from reporters following tonight's debate. So the week of Granite State debates officially in the books. Certainly want to thank uh, St. Anselm College and the Institute of Politics for their hospitality. We couldn't do it without them, obviously. So we're going to turn off the lights on one week of great debates and look forward to Election Day. For now reporting live, I'm Josh McKelvin. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio.